Next up, we have Amy Bettinghouse, a developer and consultant with Cardinal Solutions, enjoys biking, cooking, and volunteers for the Columbus chapter of Free Code Camp, uh, which for anyone interested in learning other pieces of code or know people the code, actually is tomorrow after our session here at 6.30, um, and also on October 7th at 3. Um, so two pretty coming up, good chances there. Um, please welcome Amy. Thank you, Kyle. Hi, uh, I'm Amy Bettinghouse, and uh, I'm here to talk about my career change. So this talk is for you if you are like I was a year ago, looking to make a change. This talk is also for you if you are like I am now, which I'm assuming most of you are, actively working in tech. Um, because uh, there's a great opportunity to jump the fishbowl and get into tech these days. And odds are that you at least know somebody who's interested, or maybe a student, maybe someone else who's looking to make a career change, and you can help them along the way in their journey to change over to tech. So my journey, I was a teacher. Uh, I was working at a school for about two years, uh, great staff, great students. But after two years, I realized, if I don't love this, then maybe I should make a change. Um, and so I decided to look into coding. I'd heard about coding boot camps. Um, I didn't end up doing one, but I did make this post on Facebook, kind of reaching out to friends and family about, hey, does anyone know who's, anyone who's learned how to code? And I learned about free code camp from this post. I also connected with my mentor who helped me a lot along the way. Uh, but this brings me to my first point. Anytime you're thinking of making a big change, you wanna get connected with people who are already in that area that you're trying to get to. So reach out to people. Um, I met so many people who were very willing to help, but you do have to be willing to ask. Um, you could be the best programmer building amazing algorithms and apps in your basement, but if you don't ever tell, tell anyone about it, you're never gonna get a job. And seasoned professionals, you might know somebody who's this basement programmer, so give them that little push so they can get out there and uh, find a rewarding career. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, so how do you actually learn how to code? So, super easy tip, use the internet. There's a lot of free, uh, amazing resources out there that you can use to teach yourself how to code. Um, I used a variety of platforms and courses. Um, these are some of them. Uh, I used Free Code Camp to learn web development, do some JavaScript algorithms. I learned the fundamentals of programming uh, from CS50 and uh, other free courses online. You can look at other people's projects on GitHub and CodePen. But whatever you choose, make sure that, something, that you are getting a good mixture of academic and hands-on experience. So this is a picture of a JavaScript calculator that I built as part of the free code camp curriculum. And then uh, all those projects are up on my GitHub. And so then by the time you're done with your journey, you have a, a portfolio of projects to show as you're applying for jobs. And you want to say yes to any project that comes across your path. I said yes to a uh, local nonprofit, ended up building their website, and connected to a guy who now I do some freelance work with. So again, make those connections. So in your journey to learn something new, you need to hold yourself, hold yourself accountable to your new direction. Give yourself a goal and stick to it. Uh, my goal in April of 2017 was to teach for one more year, quit my job, and find a job as a developer. So I decided that I would code for at least an hour a day, and on the weekends I worked on projects. Um, but this is a really great way to hold yourself accountable by making daily progress towards your goal. Um, another way to hold yourself accountable is to work with other people. Uh, you want to go to pair programming meetups, go to meetups and ask questions, uh, contribute to open source code, but working with other people will hold you accountable, it will also supercharge your learning. So, um, and if, again, you guys out there as seasoned developers and ladies, uh, you'll want to reach out to people who you know are trying to learn and kind of help them along the way. Um, Finally, you want to hold yourself accountable by giving yourself a deadline. This is a little bit scary, and I'm not telling you that you should just quit your job and go looking for a new one, but what I did, I had to tell school that I was leaving before I had a job lined up. Um, it was a little scary to take that leap, but uh, by that point, I had been working an apprenticeship position, part-time in coding for a couple of months, and I knew that I had what it took to uh, enter the job search. So the final uh, phase in making a career change is expanding your connections and start network networking professionally. You at some point have to leave your nest and get out there and network with other professionals. So go to meetups, get on LinkedIn, um, ask people for help again. I uh, had a recruiter give me some tips about my resume. I had someone look at my LinkedIn. They were really helpful with that. Uh, someone else looked at my GitHub and helped me clean up how I was preventing, presenting my projects on there. Um, but yeah, with the... Uh, by the end of my journey, I, had, uh, I was applying for jobs in May, and I had 
a couple of projects, a lot of projects up on GitHub. I had been talking to people in the industry, so I really understood job requirements and kind of what was going on. And I also had been working my apprenticeship position. And so I ended up at Cardinal. Um, and really, this is just the beginning. Uh, it's still hard work, and I'm learning a lot every day, but I get to build amazing projects and do puzzles all day for fun um, and also for work. So um, again, if this is you or if you know somebody who uh, could be like this, remember that it's, it is possible, and I encourage you to encourage them to make the rewarding transition into tech. Uh, thank you very much.